Hello and welcome to Philosophy 6, Logic and Practice. My name is Mia Wood. I'm a professor of philosophy at Pierce College and I'm looking forward to working with you this semester, spring 2021. It's a new beginning in a lot of ways and I am hopeful that it will be not only the continuation of your good work toward completing your academic goals, toward achieving your academic goals, but also be an improvement uh, over the difficulties that you have been facing for quite some time now. I want to do whatever I can to support you as you work toward achieving your academic goals. So please feel free to rely on me as a resource, as a source of support. We can chat not only during office hours, so just because this is an online course where you are working independently doesn't mean that I'm not here to help. I'm here with you every step of the way. We'll talk more about that as we discuss the course details. But first, let me tell you just a little bit about what we're going to be doing. In short, uh, we are going to spend our time studying argumentation. More specifically, we spend our time focused on the principles of good reasoning. We spend our time focused on techniques for identifying, constructing, and evaluating arguments. What we want to be able to do is be good reasoners. We want to be able to understand how it is that an argument succeeds or fails, right? So we'll be looking at uh, systems of reasoning so that by the end of the semester, you've got some really good conceptual frameworks, some really good tools for identifying, developing, and evaluating reasoning. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our course site. By the time we're done, I hope that you have a really good idea of what we're going to do, when we're going to do it, why we're going to do it, how we're going to do it, and where we're going to do it. If you have any questions or confusions, let me know. Remember, I'm here to help. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on our course homepage. On the far left, you'll see a vertical strip with a series of icons. Those follow you wherever you go uh, when you are on the Pierce College Canvas uh, site. The uh, next set of navigation links, however, are customizable for a given course. And you'll notice uh, if you compare our course with another course you're in that um, the navigation links um, I've uh, created in a certain order um, or have created all together. So for example, uh, the, the order is pretty standard, home, syllabus, announcements, that sort of thing. But I've also created our office hours uh, links. So uh, you'll check the syllabus for our office hours and then if you want to drop in, you just uh, click on the link for the relevant day. Now, if you can't make my office hours, don't worry, I'm around. Uh, we can always make another time to meet. So uh, avail yourself of uh, a number of really terrific resources via these links, for example, the library link. Now, I've created another link um, that uh, is, that, that's a collection, or that, sorry, takes you to a page where there's a collection of Pierce College resources um, by the time the semester starts, that, um, that resource or the, the collection of, of links that I provide may not be um, really useful to you insofar as I believe the college is creating something similar, uh, in which case, you know, you, there's no reason to duplicate uh, that sort of access. All right, and now if we look at our, our middle uh, section here, uh, we've got recent announcements. You'll see the first uh, three most recent announcements. I'll try not to abuse the announcements privilege by bombarding you with um, stuff, but uh, the, but you'll you'll at least see the the most recent three. Right now, there's only one, um, and I hope that you'll take a look when you get a chance. Then there's the start here. Um, um, set of or sorry, the start here module. Uh, the, my plan is once you've acclimated yourself to the course, you've established a rhythm, um, I will swap out this home page uh, for uh, the uh, page that involves the, um, that lists all the, the modules for the course. It'll just make your navigational process easier. But for right now, um, this uh, is meant to kind of make it easy for you to, to uh, start the initial process of working on the course. 
So you'll see, for example, a course fax button, uh, a link to our textbook. Uh, from that link, you will also see um, uh, links to the uh, uh, chapter workbooks and exercise keys. More on that shortly. Uh, a link to a button for the for the um, discussion forum where you can ask questions and so forth. And then the uh, button that uh, takes you straight to the course. So let me show you what I mean when I say eventually, click on work on the course, uh, eventually I will replace our uh, homepage with this uh, page as our uh, homepage. So then that's because it just it takes you directly to the, the work that you're going to want to complete. So you'll still have your um, uh, general discussion uh, forum. Um, I don't know if Connor is going to be our embedded uh, philosophy tutor, uh, but if it's not Connor, um, it will be someone else and uh, that person. And then this discussion forum will be dedicated to um, that person um, uh, that you can connect with and, and uh, chat with via a discussion forum. But you'll also find that that person has office hours where you can meet uh, via video conference. All right, so I'm going to go back to our home page just so that we can keep looking at the initial layout. Um, on the far right are, are a series of um, items to do, and I want to make it clear that you should not rely on, on these uh, for, let's say, uh, deadlines. And that's because uh, deadlines are not uh, always the, the best um, approach you should take to organizing your schedule. More on that in a little bit. Um, but now let's let me come back to uh, the following. I'll leave you to look at the course fact page yourself, but let's look at the um, textbook link. You'll notice that the textbook is provided to you uh, in chapter form. So there's nothing for you to buy um, and you can uh, uh, download or open uh, the textbook according to whatever chapter that you want to read. In addition, there are uh, workbooks. So this is a skills-based course. It's really important that you practice. Here's a bunch of practice. And then there are also exercise keys and answer discussions. Again, the idea is uh, for you to have uh, as many resources to facilitate your learning as possible. One of those is not only additional practice, but given that some people learn by for example, seeing answers to uh, the way that a, a particular exercise is worked in order to more, um, uh, or, or sorry, in order to facilitate a skill building process or in order to um, understand a concept, right? So sometimes seeing the answer helps. So you've got the textbook, you've got practice, and you've got answers to the practice um, provided to you. I'm going to go back out to the home page again. Um, when you are ready to work on the course, you click on the work on the course uh, button. Um, alternatively, let's say you're, you're, you've are you gone in to look for uh, one of the, the chapters. You can then click on the schedule and assessments uh, button, and that does the same thing as, uh, or it takes you to the same place, if you will, as the work on the course button. Now, once you're here on the main course page, you'll notice that each week is laid out the same. There are objectives, resources, and assessments, right? So uh, what I haven't done is input dates, um, but I'm going to, um, I'll get that done before you actually uh, start the semester. In any event, um, you'll notice that the week, the layout, the format is the same in, in it for each week. Okay, so starting with week one's module, we've got three pages. We've got our objectives, and then if we click the next button, we get to the uh, page for our resources. Notice that um, here is another way that you can access the textbook, um, but the way that you access the videos is through the resources uh, link within a given page. So these are optional videos, but if you if you click on the link, um, you'll get to the um, the relevant page, and 
so so navigation uh, for um, or to the the videos uh, should occur through the um, uh, through the resources uh, link for a given week, and then at the bottom of each um, um, uh, page containing the optional videos, there's the button to return to the schedule and assessments, right? And now, uh, so let's pretend that we hadn't uh, clicked on the resource, uh, or sorry, the chapter one video link. Um, you'll see we've got the um, ch textbook um, uh, provided by way of uh, links. Uh, I don't know why I linked chapter two here. I'll fix that. But in any event, uh, by the time you see this video, um, the, the, the link will be uh, corrected. Uh, but so, so remember that you can uh, go to the page that has each of the chapters uh, on it, uh, or you can get to a given chapter through the resources link. And then when you click the next button again, now you are on the assessments page for the given week. So um, notice that the um, you've got your your due dates and your deadlines, but as I said before, um, the 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 due dates and the deadlines are are not identical. One other point to make is this um, related to discussion forums. Uh, the um, initial post, at least in the case of the introduce yourself um, post, is. Uh, is not um, something that I can set within Canvas. So if you just got, go by the, the, the due date date or the deadline date, then you won't, uh, then you'll be late posting for your initial contribution to a discussion forum. So be sure to, you know, you, you'll get used to this, but be sure to look at the given assessment page to see when a given assessment is due. Discussion forums, we'll see this when we look at the, the syllabus, discussion forums are always uh, due as follows. Your original post or your original contribution is due on a Saturday and the peer reply is due by Sunday. And then if we click the next button again, now we move on to week number two, learning objectives, right? You'll notice we've got this uh, uh, format pattern um, that's becoming clear where now week number two objectives resources and assessments um, so so just as a reminder if you if you click on the discussion forum uh, link you'll notice that you know it says that the the thing is due uh, February uh, 21st there is a 24 hour grace period though so the, the link to the discussion forum does not close until the, the following day, uh, just before midnight. All right. Um, it should be the case uh, with your discussion uh, forum um, work that uh, I provide you with enough information to understand what I'm asking you to do. But, you know, of course, if you have questions, let me know. I, I, I'm certainly here to, to clarify. I'm here to help. Um, and then let's go back to the uh, modules. Let's go back to, I think it was week two assessments. Um, if we click on the reading quiz link, uh, you'll see now here's, here's um, a display of the point that I was making earlier. The difference for reading quizzes between due dates and deadlines, right? So available until. And like I said, that's because I don't know what your life is like. So rather than lock the thing and then, you know, if you've had um, some, you know, legit reason to, to miss a, a, a quiz, then, then reopening it, I'd rather just leave it open and, uh, and trust that you won't let work pile up. You will try your best to stay on schedule. Um, so that is, uh, the, the set of basics on the layout, uh, as well as, uh, what we're going to do in terms of assessments and, uh, when you want to get those assessments done. Let's jump on over to the syllabus. You'll see the, uh, boilerplate info here. Um, and then as a, just as a reiteration, our assessments, the, the what we're going to do in class 
uh, in terms of, of graded work uh, is constituted by discussion forum work, uh, multiple choice and true false quizzes, multiple choice and true false exams. Uh, there are extra credit quizzes, uh, the points of which go toward your overall quiz score. And there are exam retests so that if you either want to practice more, even though you're satisfied with your initial exam score, or you want to see if you can improve your score, uh, you have that opportunity. I take the best of your two scores. Uh, the due dates and deadlines uh, for exams is the are the same in terms of the um, the approach as the quizzes. Namely, the due date is one thing, the deadline is something else, and the deadline for exams uh, is much later in the semester than the due dates. Not because I expect you'll let work pile up, but so that you don't feel um, uh, you know too much pressure to, to rush if you want to go a little slower but also so that if you miss a, a due date, you're not locked out. And then you'll see how on the syllabus, how, how grades are laid out. You'll also see uh, when you uh, should expect uh, feedback from me on your discussion forum work, your exam and quiz work um, is uh, scheduled, or sorry, is set so that the feedback is instantaneous. And then if we keep uh, scrolling down more boilerplate stuff, um, and then we've got uh, a version of our schedule, which should look very similar to what we see uh, under the modules link for uh, on Canvas, right? So what you're seeing, what I just scrolled through, should look uh, a lot like, um, in terms of the layout week by week, what, you're, what you see here under the, under the modules uh, page. Okay. All right. So I hope that this gives you a nice, uh, uh, straightforward overview of what we're going to do, um, uh, when we're going to do it, uh, how you are going to do it. In other words, you know, how you access the reading, how you access the optional videos, how you access uh, assessments, and then what assessments you're going to complete. All right. So let me know if you have questions. I'm here to help.